Hello, this is Tony Miller with Tony Miller Sunday School Lessons. And this is, uh, I guess, seven or eight lesson. I'm kind of running all together in my social distancing Bible review. Uh, these are lessons that I prepare, thought to be something great to do as we social distancing ourselves from each other uh, as this virus runs tricking around the world uh, and it's tricking people and many have died and many have been inflicted by this disease. And I thought it would be something great to do to provide some of you with uh, some lessons uh, from the Bible, especially in this um, Most Holy Week. So this week's, or uh, this lesson today, uh, I've done Monday, Tuesday, uh, with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday there was a break, and Thursday, and now Friday's lesson. Today's lesson is going to think we're going to have to be broken in two, uh, so there will be a part one and part two. This is Sunday School lesson on the trial, the crucifixion, the death, the burial, and all these things occur on Good Friday. Next slide. So again, these are the day. This is Friday leading up to Easter. And our lesson today will come out of uh, Mark, uh, Matthew and Mark. I believe it's Matthew, maybe 27, and Mark 13, I believe somewhere thereabouts. Uh, this is part one. and. Uh, for the sake of time, I know we don't all have time to sit and go with, with 30 or 40 minutes or less, and so I think I'm breaking up in about 15 or 17 minutes apart. So look, hopefully you enjoy this lesson that leads us up to Easter, the resurrection. Amen. So how did we get here? Next. So Thursday. Today is Friday's lesson, but Thursday, those um, that... Uh, Judas Iscariot had betrayed Jesus, and he had uh, given uh, Jesus over to those Roman soldiers for their religious leaders wanted Jesus dead. And then, and they came to step forward to seize Jesus. And then when they stepped up to seize Jesus, Peter pulled out his knife and he cut the ear off of one of the, the men there. And Jesus kind of rebuked, rebuked Peter. And then he replaced the ear back to the man's head and, and healed it back in place. Next one. And, and, and now these soldiers and uh, these, these Roman soldiers arrested Jesus and took him to Caiaphas, who was the high priest. And remember I share with you, Caiaphas was a, was, a, was a high priest, but he was a Roman high priest. He wasn't from the direct lineage from Aaron. Uh, where the teachers of the law and the elders had assembled, but Peter had followed him at a distance uh, right up to the courtyard of the high priest. And he entered and sat down in the, guard, the guards to see the outcome. And, that, and they made false accusations against Jesus. And he does not respond. Jesus does not respond to these accusations. And they, they continue, and the high priest said, No, I charge you under the oath of the living God. Tell us who... If you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus says, you say so, basically acknowledging that he was. And then Jesus says, but I say to all of you, from now on, you will, you will see me, the Son of Man, sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One. That's God the Father and glory. And the One, the Mighty One, and coming in the clouds of heaven. That will be the next time that you would see me, according to Jesus. Next thing. So these uh, religious leaders, quite upset and wanting Jesus dead, they, 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 they beat him and struck him. And they said that he was worthy of death. They called, they tried, the call of what they claimed he did was blasphemy and equating himself to be equal with God. Next one. And then uh, they took him away. And then, then when, we, when they went out of the gateway, a, a servant girl saw Peter and said to the people there that uh, this fellow was with that Jesus of Nazareth that, that you just taken away. And, and Peter denied, started his denials. And, and, and he started the first denial, then the second and the third. He even cursed when he made the denial. I don't know that guy. I don't know him. I don't know that guy. And immediately the rooster crowed, and then the Peter remembered the, the words of Jesus, what Jesus had spoken, that before the rooster crows, you will de dis 
vow me or deny me three times and and he went outside and, and wept bitterly, Peter recognizing the error of his ways. Thanks, Lord. So now it's Friday. It's Friday. This this one of the most horrible days. But again, Sunday's coming. Let's move on. Our lesson. So it's Friday. And, uh, and, and Jesus is now moved to Pilate from Caiaphas, so those uh, Jewish leaders over to Pontius Pilate. And, and Marcus Pontius Pilate was a Roman governor of Judea under the, the emperor Tiberius. Uh, and, uh, and early, this is still Friday morning, that all the chief priests and, uh, priests and the elders and other people made their plans of how to have Jesus executed. That was their plan. And so they bound him and led him away to be handed over to this governor, Pilate. And when Judas, who had betrayed Jesus, saw what Jesus, that Jesus was uh, condemned to death, that he, Judas, was seized with remorse and returned to and tried to return the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, but they wouldn't take it. They claimed that it was now blood money. They ultimately used the money to buy a plot of field, but he says, but, but Judas says, I've sinned and I, and for I have betrayed this innocent man and, and now this blood is on my hands. Again, this is the events that are occurring on Friday morning leading up to this resurrection. Amen. Next. So again, it's still Friday morning and Judas Iscariot is drunk about what he had just done Again, three and a half years he was with Jesus. He saw all the miraculous things that Jesus had done and he recognized that he had made a, 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 a critical error. And Jesus had said, it's better that you not even be born than to create this, than to do what you've done. And, and, all, and uh, Judas, his disciple, he now was overcome by remorse and he hung himself early on Friday morning. Let's move on to our narrative. Amen. Again, it's still Friday, and now they've taken him over to Pilate. And Jesus is now with Pilate, this governor. And, and, and he asked Jesus many questions, including one, are you the king of the Jews? That's what Pilate asks. Again, he needs to interrogate this man that they brought before him to find out what's the real story. Next slide. So John in 18 says that Jesus answered Pilate and he says, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have been fighting that I might not be delivered over to these Jews. But my kingdom is from, not from the world. And then Pilate said to Jesus, so you are a king. And Jesus answers, you say that I am a king. Again, acknowledging that he was. For this purpose I was born, and for this purpose I have come into the world, to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who, everyone, uh, who is of the truth listens to my voice. And Pilate says to him, and what is truth? Again, he's amazed by Jesus' responses. And after he has said this, he went back outside to the Jews and told them, I find no guilt in this man, Jesus. Next slide. So Pilate finds no fault with Jesus, but now Pilate figured that he had a plan to not allow them to, these uh, Jewish leaders to manipulate him, to use him to execute this man. And now it was the governor's custom each year to bring during this Passover celebration to release one prisoner. And I share with you in last week's, in last, the other day's lesson, I believe Thursday, this was Passover. And every one of the people had requested this, as was his custom. And one of the prisoners at the time was named Jesus Barabbas, a revolutionary who had committed murder in an uprising. And, and, and Pilate went to the crowd and he asked, to release the prisoner as usual and he says which one do you want to release do you want to release 
Jesus Barabbas or Jesus the King of the Jews. Pilate no doubt thought that they would release Jesus the King of the Jews and he figured that would be the end of this. Next slide. And then uh, they said crucify Jesus. And then and, and Pilate says why? What crime has he committed? But the mob roared even louder, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. And they let Jesus Barabbas go, but Jesus of Nazareth, the son of the living God, the king of the Jews, they decided that he needed to be crucified. Next slide. So it's still Friday, and this crowd is quite fickle. And I said that it's fickle because this, these large crowds are the same folks that have been traveling with Jesus for these years. And they have seen him healing people and feeding people and casting out demons and raising folks from the dead and teaching people these incredible things. And, and this message of love and inclusion. But now they want him dead. Those religious leaders had whipped him up in such a frenzy that they, 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 they believed that he'd done something that he had not. Again, this is still Friday. Let's move on in our narrative. Amen. And I share with you there is trial that Jesus done again on this Friday. They went before Annas and he went to Caiaphas and the Sanhedrin and then now to Pilate and then Pilate sends Jesus to, to Herod and then, then Herod sends Jesus back to, to Pilate. And at one of these trials, could any evidence be found against Jesus? Jesus was going to ultimately die for a cross on the cross for a guilt an, an innocent man not guilty of any crime again we're still on friday let's move on again it's still friday and back to pontius pilate again and 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 and, and the chief uh priest and the leaders among the the mob gathered at pilate's res, res, uh, residence clamoring for it and the jewish leaders didn't have legal authority to condemn someone to death they needed Pilate to do it the Pilate was going to be the one that would cause this execution ultimate Pilate acquiesced to the wishes of this mob and condemned Jesus to death and first order of scourge and scourging him beating him uh, again but but silent I uh, Pilate also he says he notes that I am innocent of this man's blood. It is your responsibility, he says to the crowd and to these leaders. It is not his. And then Pilate doesn't want his blood on his hands, so he washes his hands in front of these people and tells them that my hands are clean, that the blood of this man, this innocent man, is on you and not me. Next slide. It's still Friday. So the, to pacify the crowd, Pilate releases Barabbas to them and he orders Jesus flogged with a lead tipped whip and turn them over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Again, we are still Friday. Amen. And that ends the first half of our social distancing Bible review of this trial, and this crucifixion portion of this. And we'll move on to part two, which will be the, the, the death and the burial. Of, of Jesus again coming up Mark and Matthew this is my YouTube channel as if you please will hit the subscribe button and the bell and get these lessons automatically hit the like button uh, leave me comments share my lessons with those also social distancing looking for something to, to learn about Jesus so something to learn about our Lord as we move on I'll share with you next part two of this lesson again the death the burial that all occurs on good friday thank you so much for your time Amen.